Okay, today we're going to be looking at how to use the fraction button on any of the TI-84 series calculators. Um, first thing you need to make sure is that you are running at least 2.55 uh, MP or higher. MP stands for math print. Okay, so to check that out, to make sure my calculator is um, running that, I'm going to hit the second button. And then I'm going to hit the plus and a little menu comes up here. I have a choice that I can choose number one for about. I can press one and then it does tell me I am running 2.55 MP. So I, this is going to work. I am going to be able to use fractions on this calculator. Alright, so I'm going to clear that out. Um, now, um, over here I have uh, your key sequence. Alpha, Y equals are the two keys you're going to hit to get a little menu to come up. Now you've got several different ones on there, but we're just going to focus with the fraction menu. All four of those are four different options for doing different things with fractions, and everything is going to be centered around that. So like let's just say I wanted to add 4 elevenths plus 5 20 seconds. All right, so I'm going to do alpha, and then y equals, and my fraction menu is going to come up. So I want to put a fraction in, I'm going to select 1, and my little template there for a fraction comes in up, so I can put in 4 elevenths. I'll put the 4 in the numerator, arrow down, and put 11 in the denominator. Now I'm going to have to arrow to the right if I want to add another fraction, say. Now I need another um, template there, so I'm going to do alpha equals, y equals, and my menu comes up. I'm going to press 1 again. I've got another place I can put another fraction in. Let's say this time I want to put 5 20 seconds. So 5, arrow down, put in 20 second, arrow over. All right, now there I'm adding 4 elevenths and 5 20 seconds, and I hit equals, and it's going to give me the nice little answer of 13 over 22. All right, um, let's do a mixed number this time. So maybe say 1 half plus 4 and 3 fourths. So if I want to do 1 half, I can do alpha and then y equals. That's giving me my fraction menu. Select one again because I just want to put an ordinary fraction in of, say, one half. So one, arrow down, two. All right, I'm going to go to the right there, arrow to the right, put my plus sign in. Now let's say I want to do a mixed number. I still want my original fraction menu there, so alpha, y equals. All right, this time I'm going to select number two because when I select two, then that gives me the template for a mixed number to put in. So then I'm going to put in 4, I'm going to arrow over, that puts me in the numerator, then I can put in 3, down to the denominator, put in 4, arrow over again. So now I'm adding 1 half and 4 and 3 fourths, hit equals, and that gives me 21 over 4. Okay, now, that's a perfectly acceptable answer, it's an improper fraction, however, if you would like to convert it to a mixed number, then I can again go back to this fraction menu, I can do alpha, y equals, and I can select the third option. When I select the third option, what it's going to do, it's either going to turn that improper fraction into a mixed number, or if I had a mixed number, it'd go the other way around. So there it's showing you 5 and 1 fourth is the mixed number that is equivalent to 21 over 4. All right, now let's say I wanted to go one step farther. Let's say I wanted to turn that 5 and 1 fourth into a decimal. I can, again, pull up that menu. I can do alpha and then y equals, and this time I can select 4, because that's going to be fraction to decimal, decimal to fraction, select 4, and whatever's left there now, it's going to turn that into a decimal, so 5.25. Um, I can also, let's go ahead and clear that out, I, I can also, if I've just got some random decimal, like some large, large decimal, like let's say point, a to 5. I'm just putting a random decimal in there. I'm going to hit equal. Okay, so I've got some decimal in there, and for whatever reason I might need that as a fraction, I can go backwards as well. So I could do alpha y equals, pull that up. I want to take that decimal and turn it into a fraction. I'm going to select 4 and then hit enter, and that gives me the fraction of 33 over 40. All right, so lots of different options and things that you can do with fractions on your TI-84 series calculator all driven from the menu which you get when you hit alpha y equals.